Traffic's been good, so uh, yes, I have to make a correction. Ventus guy uh, <coughs> I had jumped from Passover to uh, uh, tomorrow, as I did that video before the shower and shave. But uh, as I finished uh, uploading it and checked the comments, one of my commenters uh, said that they were watching it right now <laughs> from the video I did on Saturday about uh, the, or was it Sunday, about the tornadoes in for the Exodus. And as the video I did yesterday about uh, everything being apocalyptic literature and Constantine being the one to turn the Bible into literal history, it was uh, necessary to uh, point this out and expose the Book of Mormon and Joseph Smith's history and the Doctrine and Covenants passages as also apocalyptic literature. That's what Joseph Smith was doing. And so ex-Mormons get it wrong when they say that the whole thing is just a fraud and a lie. No. Mormons also get it wrong thinking it's literal history. No. It's apocalyptic literature, specifically written and designed by Sidney Rigdon, the major author of the Book of Mormon, according to linguistics. That's a science. And as I'm the one who made the discovery, Joseph Smith Sr., the major author of the rewritten 116 pages, which he turned them specifically into 1st and 2nd Nephi, thus 3rd and 4th Nephi, to correspond with the books of Kings. We have 1st and 2nd Samuel, they're actually 1st and 2nd Kings, revised. <laughs> from their original 116 pages. <laughs> and, uh, and so knowing that the Book of Mormon is apocalyptic literature, we get to 3rd Nephi. Uh, chapter 1 was supposed to have signs in the heavens. Astronomers screwed up their math. <laughs> so we're still waiting. <clears throat> and uh, I sort of uh, failed the calculus part of my astronomy course uh, requiring the the actual knowledge of astronomy to uh, pull my grade up to a C. <laughs> calculus beat me up. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I understand the problems using calculus to make your calculations and you do have to get it right. Uh, so here we are, 3rd Nephi chapter 7. Pay attention to see if any of this sounds familiar of anything that's happened in the, the modern future here, the modern past, most recent past. The chief judge is murdered, the government is overthrown, the people divide into tribes, Jacob, an antichrist, becomes king of a league of tribes, Nephi preaches repentance and faith in Christ, angels minister to him daily, and he raises his brother from the dead, many repent and are baptized, about A.D., it's not literal history, Bruce, get rid of that, Bruce, Bruce R. McConkey, come on guys, keep up. <coughs> And so, uh, I hope she wasn't, but the timing with the Book of Mormon is kind of concerning me, but she did make a guest appearance on SNL on Saturday. <laughs> so, now, as Passover is from the Exodus, Apocalyptic literature again for the latter days. Man like Moses is who Mormons are supposed to be looking for, not Jesus. 
that's the great and abominable church trying to deceive you read that there were whirlwinds involved with the exodus and, uh, and then you have creeping death and ta-da they leave and uh, I think more whirlwinds with that so knowing that the Book of Mormon is apocalyptic literature warning about an exodus event for the great and abominable from the great and abominable church of the true church of the lamb to emerge from chapter 8 of third nephi third kings tempests earthquakes fires whirlwinds and physical upheavals attest the crucifixion of christ We've got that lesson coming up for Sunday. I've already touched on it many a time, but uh, yeah, it's a sign in the heavens of the death. Samuel the Lamanite, likewise, is brought up here uh, in these passages as he was in Helaman. And he talks about the death sign and the death star. <laughs> You do know that Star Wars has Hebrew names encoded into it. Jedi, remove the vowels, remove the vowels of Judah. What do you get? You get a match. So Princess Amadala, or Queen Amadala. Yeah, handmaid. Oh, she doubles as a handmaid to conceal her identity. Huh. Just those little things that if you knew, you'd go, oh, okay, I see what he's doing. And Jar Jar Banks. No, it has nothing to do with anything. That was an attempt to appeal to kids, and it failed. <laughs> but yeah, even the Sith. Seth. The children of Set. Or Seth in the the Bible as well as they come from the Egyptian set who murdered Osiris and took over the throne the evil empire ah. so yes there's a lot of things that if you knew so like Superman I've been trying to tell you the house of El not a coincidence and so oh look there's Samuel they're looking for the death sign. The people began to look with great earnestness for the death sign which had been given by the prophet Samuel, the Lamanite. Yea, for the time that there should be the third day of darkness. Yes, the three days. Notice the Gospels, made Gospels by Constantine, which were apocalyptic literature. They only say three hours. Three days three days <clears throat> over the face of the land which means three solar eclipses the first and the last cross wonder how the Smiths knew this <laughs> oh it's in Revelation oh Smith senior was in the new Israelites in Vermont oh he rewrote the 116 pages huh huh okay Joseph Jr.'s one job was to babysit Martin Harris, and he blew it. And so he had to go into hiding for over a year and, and uh, let things die down until they can come out and say, A marvelous work and wonder is about to come forth among the children of men. And then we're going to wait a few more months before Oliver Cowdery and I begin. <laughs> and then <laughs> take only a month and a half to write the whole Book of Mormon. It's a miracle from God. Yeah, well, in chapter 8, uh, many people are destroyed. Darkness covers the face of the land for three days. We have one next year. That's the second one. Uh, 14 October, 2023. And then the big one of big ones, which we get to in 3 Nephi chapter 11. But right now, 
we have to deal with this. They knew this. Everybody knew this was going to happen. This is why the combustion engine, which has been obsolete for at least 75 years now, has been pushed. Because they knew that it gives off car exhaust, which pollutes the air, and which raises the temperature of the earth, which would cause, ta-da! Tempests, earthquakes, fires, whirlwinds, and physical upheavals. You know, it's that climate thing that the deep state Dems are trying to take away your hamburgers. It's not the cows that are the problem. Cows have been around forever. Leave the cows alone. Eat more chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Chick-fil-A. <clears throat> and so, yes, we are to expect these upheavals right before the exodus. Because that's what this is. These are the storms right before the exodus. How do we know it's right before the exodus? 3 Nephi chapter 11. It tells us. Now it came to pass that there was a great multitude gathered together of the people of Nephi round about the temple which was in the land bountiful. And they were marveling and wondering one with another and were showing one to another the great and marvelous change which had taken place. From what? The upheavals. The natural disasters. And they were also talking about the sign in the heavens of the death sign. And so, yes, it says Jesus, but you're supposed to know that it's Amen, the sun god of the language of the Egyptians, or Emmanuel of the learning of the Jews. Remove Constantine from your vocabulary. <coughs> whom the sign had been given concerning his death. And all Mormons miss it because the church is keeping us in, seat, in darkness. See, round about the temple, which was in the land bountiful. I thought it was Zarahemla, which was the capital. Salt Lake City. What's going on? What's this bountiful place? Paradise? Zion? So there's a temple in Zion. And it needs to be built before the death sign on 8 April 2024. Two more years. Remember I keep doing this? Oh, right, there's only like a dozen people that watch now because YouTube doesn't want you to know. They are getting paid by the church to silence me. Just like those who are getting paid by the church to have me assassinated. They don't want you to know this information. And it's right here in the Book of Mormon, the keystone of our religion. And so, yeah, be safe. I'll add the clip that I took from Vengeous Guy also in here.